Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Minotaur Monster Figure. So, uh, this is one that I think looks pretty cool. Um, the pictures and everything have really seemed like they've done an extra good job on this monster figure. Um, not going to get into all the details about what's going on with Lightning Collection right now. Um, but this may be the last monster that we get for quite a while, so we will have to wait and see. Um, but the artwork on the packaging looks, uh, very nice. So, of course, this is a monster from one of the earlier episodes of, uh, Season 1 of Mighty Morphin. It does have the Power Rangers 30th Anniversary logo on the side, which is nice. Then on the back, we get a shot of the figure with the accessories. So he comes with his shield and his mace, a couple extra hands, um, a power effect. And a lot of us are excited that he comes with his uh, clay monster version that we can have with our Finster figure. Um, so that's pretty cool. Some more artwork on the side there. And then barcode. So I don't think this figure is exclusive to anywhere, so he should be popping up in uh, various stores. But I just received mine today from my pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. So uh, if you wanted to get this one, I do believe it is available at Big Bad Toy Store right now. So we are going to just open him right up and see what we get. So, of course, what we're getting used to here with this plastic prepackaging, we get the little insert, which we don't care about. And we get, it's actually a pretty cool green color inside, uh, so that's neat. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to go ahead and assume all the accessories are in here. So, pull that bag out. And then it looks like we've got a little rope here, so... Let me grab my scissors and cut him out. So not only is he in the little paper bag or the tissue bag, he's also roped in. So let's go ahead and get him out of the bag. He does feel pretty heavy. Um, and I think that's it. It's just him in the bag by himself. Uh, yeah, so he is a, uh, a hefty figure. He's a hefty boy. Um, he is pinless, it looks like, so all the joints are pinless, um, and he actually feels pretty good. He doesn't feel, uh, loose or wonky, uh, which is great, um, and I think, uh, you know, the neat thing about this Minotaur figure is there's really nothing that makes him really specific to Power Rangers, so, really, anybody can use this figure in their display as just a minotaur from, you know, Greek mythology, which I think is really nice. Um, so, he's got his tail back here. His tail is a little bit kind of off-center from being in the bag, in the packaging. Um, but he feels good. I mean, I'm just saying, right out of the package, he feels very sturdy. The joints are tight, but not too tight. And look how easy it was to just stand them up. I barely had to do anything. So, so far, first impressions are, this is a very good figure. Now, let's hope that we got all of the accessories. So, here is the power effect, which is actually a really nice kind of uh, teal color. And, uh, you know, somehow it, you just kind of attach it to his horns. I don't know if I'm going to use this for him. I feel like I really don't need this for him. But it's such a nice kind of teal blue color. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somehow. Uh, we've got his mace, which this is really actually heavy. And the spikes are sharp. Like, they're, they're not um, bendy. They're not pliable. Like, they're really hard and rigid and pointy. Um, and, like, this is heavy. Like, this is... A very solid uh, weapon, uh, which is surprising, honestly. Um, all right, and then we've got his shield, which, wow, look at this shield. Look at the paint detail. It's got, like, some silver kind of wash to it. Uh, let's see. So here's the handle. So it's supposed to go this way. It's kind of hard to tell which way is up, which way is down. 
This is a really, really nice shield. I mean, this is a really great accessory. I am very shocked and surprised with this figure, honestly. So, um, he's got a fist. He's got an extra gripping hand. He's got a gripping hand on him and then like a reaching out to grab you hand. And now the last accessory, which is probably the one we're the most excited about, it's very, very tiny. So this is his little uh, clay model version of him that Finster would put in the Monstermatic. This is really nicely done. It's very tiny, so be careful. Don't lose this because if you're going to lose anything, it's going to be this. Uh, you know, this is like way tinier than even one of his hands. So if I hold up a hand in comparison, like this is way tinier and lighter. Yeah, so don't lose this. It would be a very easy accessory to lose. And it'd be a shame because this would be neat to, you know, put with Finster. So articulation wise, let's take a look here. The head... Uh, so the neck piece is kind of a separate piece, so you can kind of move the head up and down, back and forth a little, not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, the a little articulation in the mouth would have been awesome, but I feel like that's a little bit too much, you know, to expect. He does have a really, really nice butterfly. Look how far back that goes. Wow. That is, that is like AWOC level butterfly joints. If you don't know what AWOC is... Check out my Animal Warriors of the Kingdom videos because, wow, that is really nice. Why are they all of a sudden stepping up their game when they're about to go on a hiatus? I have no idea. Uh, Double-jointed pinless elbows. Uh, bicep swivel. Uh, no arm swivel. It looks like there would be like a swivel here, but of course the wrists swivel back and forth, up and down. We have like the diaphragm cut and... Uh, I'm sorry, is that a ratcheted ab crunch? It sure seems like it. Um, no twist at the waist because we have the diaphragm twist. Big time, big time splits like you would not believe. Um, I don't think he has drop down hips, but he doesn't really need them because look how far he kicks out. He does have a thigh twist that's hidden by his little skirt piece here. But the skirt piece is very, very flexible, so it does not hinder him at all. Double-jointed pinless knee. Uh, ankles side to side, up and down. And he's got the hooves, which are really, really nicely done. And the hooves are very stable. He's got silver paint throughout. This... Is this the best Lightning Collection figure of all time? Um, Maybe. <laughs> wow, I am I am blown away by how good this figure is. So I'm going to mess around with his weapons and stuff later on. Um, you know, it feels like the hands do need to be warmed up. The hands are really, really hard. So I would say warm up the hands before you try to put uh, his shield and his uh, mace. The shield actually might go in because the handle is pretty thin. So... Yeah, I can just about get the shield. Yeah, there you go. So that's actually pretty good. So the shield does go in the extra hand pretty great. So what the heck? Let's see. Yep, hand popped right out real easy. The other hand will hopefully go in. Yep, just as easy. And uh, there he is with his shield. And... Yeah, this hand is pretty tight. I don't know how easy it'll be to get his weapon in here. Yeah, so that one's going to need some warming up because the handle on the mace is thicker. And this is very pointy, so I don't want to stab myself too much. But just him holding the shield up. I mean, this figure is very stable, very solid. Um... The details are amazing. And again, I think, you know, probably one of the best things about this figure is just how versatile it is. You don't have to be a big Power Ranger fan. Like, this can go with Mythic Legions. It can go with Masters of the Universe. Um, you know, with Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. He's, you know, he's a bull. He's a 
you know, uh, anthropomorphic bull. It doesn't have to be a quote-unquote minotaur. Um, this guy, I think I might need another one. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, um, you know, absolutely, if this guy goes on sale or goes on clearance, I am grabbing another one. I will armor him up in some other kind of way, and I will put him with my AWOC figures in a second, okay? Obviously, I want to put him with my other Power Ranger monster figures, but... He is great just as a bull, you know, guy. Um, you know, it's just, he is just that good. All right, so let me go ahead and get the shield out of here. And I just want to put him in a neutral stance so we can do some comparisons. But uh, yeah, I will definitely be getting another one of these uh, for sure. I may not even wait for it to go on sale. I may pay full price for a second one because he is an awesome figure. Um, hands down, awesome figure. Uh, okay, let's do some comparisons here. So I guess first of all, we can compare the Minotaur with the uh, Rita figure from Lightning Collection. So obviously he is much larger than Rita, which is to be expected. She's kind of a smaller figure and the monsters scale bigger anyway. Uh, doesn't really make sense because he's a season one monster, but here he is alongside the Lord Zed lightning collection figure, which again, still towers over Lord Zed. Um, if you want to see him with another monster, move him over, here he is with Eye Guy, and now you can see that Eye Guy really towers over Minotaur. So I feel like with Minotaur, they may be scaled back just a little bit, um, maybe because they got a little bit of backlash or maybe just because they thought people would be buying this just to kind of put in with other six inch figures. But uh, still looks great, I think, just alongside Eye Guy. I mean, Eye Guy, I think, is just a little bit too big. I think the Minotaur is uh, perfect as far as the size goes. Uh, as far as Rangers, here is the Green Ranger from Lightning Collection. So you can see a little bit too big. But if you happen to have the uh, Super 7 Ranger figures, what is pretty nice is the Super 7 Rangers actually scale pretty well with the Lightning Collection monsters. So you can see here that the Super 7 Green Ranger, which Green Ranger is the only Super 7 Ranger I have, um... And I don't think Green Ranger was around when Minotaur came out. I think Minotaur was pretty early on. But, I mean, you know, this Ranger body is going to be the same. So if you have the Super 7 Rangers, uh, Minotaur actually scales perfect, if you ask me. So that works out great if you have the Super 7 Rangers. Um, another uh, comparison you might want to see is I do have the Super 7 Goldar. So now, of course, Goldar runs a little large. So he's going to be a little big next to Minotaur, but really it's not too bad. And if I took Goldar's wings off, which I'm not going to do um, because I don't trust them to go on and off easily. Um, you know, if I took Goldar's wings off, he wouldn't look as big next to Minotaur. Um, so I think that would work. I mean, you know, Goldar isn't all that much taller um, and I didn't even bother grabbing the Lightning Collection Goldar, because you all know he'll be, you know, just as small as uh, Lord Zed was compared to this. Something else that actually works really great, though, and I did not grab the Megazord just because it was a little harder to grab, but I did grab the Dragonzord in battle mode. So if you collect these, um, Hasbro, um, I just call them the basic... Zords. Um, so a lot of these have gone on to clearance. A lot of these, I actually found this one at Ollie's. I think it was like seven or eight bucks at Ollie's. Um, these scale really well with the Lightning Collection monsters. So if you wanted to have the Lightning Collection monsters go up against Megazords, you can get uh, these Megazords for really cheap. Um, and, you know, they are missing quite a bit of paint apps, but again, they're really cheap, basic figures. Uh, I have added paint, uh, to the Thunder Megazord, because the Thunder Megazord was really lacking in some paint. Um, but I think the, you know, the, the Dino Megazord and the Dragonzord in battle mode and the White Tiger Zord, they all look okay to me. I think it was just the Thunder Megazord looked kind of extra, extra plain. Um, but, you know, this 
really works well, I think. Um, so if you wanted to have the monsters go up against Zords, this is another option for you. Um, so there you go. I think that's all I have for comparisons. Um, but uh, first impressions, I am going to say that this this is definitely the best monster figure we've ever gotten. Um, and this may very well be the best Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure of all time. I mean, Finster is definitely up there. Um, I really liked the uh, Psycho Ranger 5-pack, the Alien Ranger 5-pack. Those were pretty awesome. Um, but just as a figure, in terms of quality and detail um, and versatility, because, again, you can use this in multiple different, you know, uh, toy line displays, uh, Minotaur is a winner. So highly recommend this one. I will definitely be getting a second one sooner or later. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, feel free to like the video. Feel free to, to sub subscribe to the channel. Check out some other Power Ranger related videos and thanks for watching. Have a good one.